Hey everybody, Cousin Jim here. I'm in Hermosa Beach at the Hermosa Beach Pier. I was just walking through the alley here and I saw this big mural. I hope it's all in there. It's just kind of an interesting piece. I've never been to this pier before, but let's go take a look, see if anybody's fishing, see what we can find. What a great place. Look at all the volleyball courts out here. Like I said, I've never been to this pier. It's pretty amazing. All the skateboarders up front. Good flat surface to ride. They're all working on their tricks. I can see another pier down there in the distance. I'll find out what that pier is when I get out here. Okay, so now we're getting out on the pier. You can see we got surfers in the water. We got volleyball on the beach. They even have a Rasta lifeguard station. Never seen a Rasta lifeguard station before. All right, Cousin Jim, I'm out here with Jeff Thomas. He lives up the road in Lamita. We're out here on the Hermosa Beach Pier. What are you fishing for today, Jeff? Halibut. Halibut. And it looks like you got a pretty stout rod there fishing a pen jig master on a old fiberglass rod. What do you have as bait down there? A live sardine. Uh, one live sardine? Yeah, I catch the sardines to keep them alive and just bait. Okay, so you catch them out, those sardines out farther on the pier? Yeah. And, and bring them in here? Yeah. Where down on the on the bottom here, I don't know if you can see it. I can see a little bit of kelp or weed down there in the sand. I've never been on this pier before, so it's kind of interesting. That wave just washed out what I was looking at. But we've got a lot of sand here. The halibut love to lay in the sand. So have you caught anything lately? Hi. I had enough time to make my live bait and I got one bite already but I missed it. Your ticket ran real quick so I set the hook didn't get it. That happens a lot to us fishermen. Hey, he was rolling around the piling. I had to do something. So. Yeah, we're, ha we're out here having fun. Yeah. So we've got another fella fishing right down here. He's got a weight on the end of his line and then four or five treble hooks on that line. So he's trying to snag the halibut. Oh, there you can see the weeds down below. A lot of grass. A lot of kelp in the water. Yeah, do you ever catch a sand bass or kelp bass here, Jeff? I got a really nice sand bass here about two weeks ago. It came out right at sundown. Uh huh. And I have a spinning rod with a swim bait on it, lead head with a tail. Okay. I got out past where everyone was at, halfway out, slung it out, and I was just kind of walking down with the rail, dragging it along. And Wow, we got a 20 inch sand bass. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. A 20 inch sand bass. That's that's always fun. Nice and healthy looking. I played it. Pure white meat, good eating. It's all right. Sand bass is okay. I'd rather have a calico bass. Okay, so calico bass is better than a sand bass. By far. Would you rather have a halibut? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Quite a, uh, quite a few short halibut lately, but I haven't gotten any legal size. They got to be 22 inches. Okay, so a halibut has to be 22 inches. In California halibut. In California halibut. Now there's the guy with his treble hooks just came up. So, so anyway, so 22 inches to be a legal halibut. You said California halibut. Are, are there different halibuts here? Yeah, well, not necessarily here. There's, we have a lot of flounders, like starry eye flounder, rubber lip flounder. Uh, and then your sand abs, you, like 13 different species that you can keep them of any size. And people do, of course. But um, halibut has no regulations. All right. I try to talk to some of these people. They just they don't understand, don't want to understand. And you know, granted, they don't waste a bit of meat. They take it home and consume every bit of it. But, but they're depleting the resources. Yeah. They don't understand having a fishery for our grandkids. Yeah. I totally get it. Well, thanks for letting me talk to you, Jeff. It's a, it's a pleasure. 
So Jeff, what's the name of that pier we can see off there in the distance? North of here, that's the Manhattan Beach Pier. None. Okay, so so this is what Jeff's fishing. That's a sardine. That's a sardine. Uh, okay, and he's got looks like maybe four ounces yeah, there or four so. Four ounce Carolina rig. And I find him hiding under the pier because I like structure. So I start there and then work my way out. So he just cast up under the pier. <laughs> oh, I do it. Yeah and it will slowly work its way out. What happens is those halibut lay in near the pilings because the small fish will come near the pilings and then they're laying there disguised on the bottom. You've seen that in other people's videos with their two eyes looking up. They got two eyes on one side of their head and they'll just snatch that bait as it goes by. It's pretty exciting stuff. Hopefully Jeff catches one when we're walking back, I'm going to go out and see what the other fishermen are doing out on the end of the pier. Okay, so Jeff's got a bucket over here. We're going to go check that out, and then we're going to the end of the pier. If you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, ask us a question, put some comments in there. We'll answer anything you have. <laughs> Did this one jump out and die, or he? Uh, no, he got bit. See the marks on the bite marks on him, or he got bit mm -hmm. and didn't hook the fish. Okay, so this sardine got bit by a halibut, but he did not get hooked up. So he's laying outside the bucket. Down inside, he's got four, four or five, um, four or five sardines in there. They're looking good. They're healthy. He's got the bubbler from Walmart on the outside. I do the same thing with shrimp in the Florida Keys. And I just met Claire here, and she is fishing for bait. Yeah, I'm catching sardines and uh, smell mostly, mostly sardines. Mostly sardines. Yeah, for well, halibut. And, and are you going to catch some halibut tonight? Well, it depends on whether it wants to bite or not. Okay, so is just about everybody out here catching sardines to go back in and catch? No, most of them are going for mackerel down there okay uh, but they are catching a few sardines this has been slow but at least i got some today okay it looked like you're you're fishing a sabiki rig you look like maybe number 12 hooks on it i'm not sure what yeah size. they're pretty they're pretty small but that's what it takes to catch the smelt yep. and the um sardines hayabusa works uh, hayabusa okay yep. so you can see that she's actually working hard at catching bait everybody thinks that catching bait is easy you just go dig a worm out of your yard but that's not how it works with these saltwater species looks like probably about a 20 to 25 pound rig there's her uh small small sabikis there yep. with is that two ounces on the bottom of it uh, probably yeah that's all you need and then she's working it hard and what happens is the schools are passing through or swimming around the pier and so when the baits go through a school she'll catch them um you got some over here in your bubbler yeah, bucket yeah take all right up. let's check and see what claire has caught over here oh yeah man that one's huge yeah. and that big one's a sardine also yeah okay Wow, so she's got a bunch of bait. Claire's gonna be fishing tonight. It's gonna try and put that big halibut in. Yep. Yeah, got some. Okay, are you still here? Yep. Still here. Yeah, I see. Oh, the seal is here. Oh no, oh. two fell off. A two, two Did a halibut hit that one too? The seal is down there. He was going after my fish. The sea lion. Okay. He's so, down there. So you got you had four on. Yeah, four. Well, so the school off. came through and just hit it like it was supposed to. Yep. Two fell off on the way up and two more good oh, ones going oh, 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 oh. going into the bucket. Yep. Thank you, thank you. Let's get a few more and I'll go down for halibut. Good job, Claire. <laughs> so I just met um Gilbert out here on the end of the pier. He's fishing for bait also. Are you fishing for mackerel or are you fishing mackerel. for... Okay, so he's fishing for mackerel out here. Claire caught four sardines. Gilbert's after mackerel. Well, let's move down the pier, see what else we can find.
Thank you. All right, I'm out here on the end of the pier. I got Gio over here and Porfidio here. And um, what are you guys fishing for? Anything. 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 Nothing specific? No, Nothing no. Specific. So are you using worms for bait yes. like they do in yeah. freshwater? Yes, yeah. The worms. What kind of worms? Are they blood uh, worms? Red worms? Red worms. Red worms. Yeah. Just like you would for bluegill or bass in yes, freshwater? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Have you caught anything out here today? Yeah, uh, uh, 13. 13. Okay. So we got a sardine over here in the bucket. In the bucket. Yeah, you can open it. In the, in the ice chest, I mean? Uh, it's just a regular. No, no ice chest. Okay, so that is a that's a sardine. You sure it's, that's not a smelt? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Is that a smelt? A smelt. Yeah, oh. it's a smelt. Oh, it's a smelt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, they're just a different fish. The oh. sardine will have more spots on him. Oh. And the and I don't know these fish very well. No. But it's just a sardine. But I. Yeah. It's a sardine. Can I show him? Oh, that's a sardine. So see how he yes, yes, yes. see how he's got the spots on his yes, back. Yes, yes. So that's a sardine. Yes. Make sure my camera's on. Yep. So that is a sardine, and this gentleman over here, he's got a sm a smelt. Also, is that a jack smelt? Is that what that's called? I'm not. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm not real familiar with the California fish, but but these are. Oh, thank you, sir. I got jeans on, that's, that's what I'm down here for. So, great. This gentleman is a fisherman. What's your name, sir? Joel. Joel. All right, Joel is got loading up on bait out here. Gio and Porfidio over here. If you, if you like what you're seeing on this, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll have this video up next week for you guys. All right, I just met Alberto out here on the end of the pier. This is his second time to go fishing. Yeah, I got my, I got my coach over there. Oh, so that's your coach? Yeah, that's my coach. Okay. So, oh, the coach is on the end. He's ignoring us. David, yeah, go for it. David. So, David, David. so we got a glow stick. We got, is that um, squid for bait? Uh, shrimp. Shrimp for bait. We're waiting for, for, we're going to cut something so we can use it for bait. Okay, so you're trying to catch bait right now. Yeah. Okay, so just like all these other people out here, they're catching sardines and stuff. You're yeah. trying to do the same thing right I'm now. Get a shark. Oh, you want to get a shark? I'm trying to. You will get a shark if you if you fish the pier long enough. And a, a baby shark. You'll catch something. Right, Baba? Baby shark. Do 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 do. <laughs> do it. Baby shark. Baby shark. Do 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 do. Baby shark, do, 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 do. baby shark, yeah! Okay. okay, so he's just getting started. That's his sabiki rig. He put it in styrofoam to try and keep it from tangling up. Yeah, but, it's still but it still tangles. Sabiki rigs are tough to handle. He's got about uh, two ounces of weight down there on the bottom. A standard sabiki rig. Looks like it's probably number 14s, maybe? Little... <laughs> And he's hoping to catch some sardines. And after you catch sardines for bait, what are you gonna do? Fry it. Oh, you're gonna fry the sardines. Okay, so they're, you're not gonna try and turn your sardines into a halibut tonight. No. All right. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. Follow me, Cousin Jim. Her sardine was bit. That means there's a halibut down there. Oh, yeah. I'd put it right, right back, back in the same spot. Yep, and he'll come right back to it if he wants it. He's just... Yeah. He's got him. You got it! Fish on! You got it! What is it? Fish on! Fish on! Look at the size of that halibut! Oh no, it's not. It's a, it's a shovel nose shark. No fool you into thinking it's a halibut at first. Yeah, yeah, I saw the white body. That's why I thought. Oh, when you first hooked him, you're thinking, oh, this could be a good halibut. Then you find out, no, it's a mite. That's a, that's a nice one. They fight really good. It's a nice shovel nose. Okay. Claire's got the gaff. Right here, Claire. She's done this before. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah, let me get past here and get out a little bit. All right, so he's got a big shovel nose shark on. I've got color straight below me. He's gonna try and control it over to where the uh, the treble hook that they use as a gaff on the pier. It's a good sized fish. That's what we were hoping for. He's got control. He doesn't have full control of him, but he's keeping him in the middle here between the pilings. Here he comes up to the surface. You can see color down there. Didn't, didn't quite stick him on that. And of course, a big wave comes and washes everything white. There we go. Good job, Claire. Nice stick there. Here it comes. All right. Oh, that's a big sand draw. So. So you call that a sand shark? A sand shark also called a shovel nose shark. Okay. Hey, 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 and let me take a picture of him. Ready? That's, it. that's huge. Wow. Get, get in here and get a good picture, Claire. Oh, Claire, that's great. Okay, oh, oh take, take, take one. Take one. Okay, do it again. Do it again with me. Do it again yeah. Again with me. Uh, okay. That fish looks huge it like that. Does. Hold the tail up higher. There you go. 51 inches. All right, 51 inches. Yep. That's wicked tuna, 51 inches. <laughs> Great job, Claire. Oh, I'm thrilled. I'm glad that he fought it because if I did, I would be sore for two days. He did a great job. You did a great job, though. You got him in between the pilings and kept him there. I'm, I'm, I'm a fishing guy, so you know, I'm, I'm a crazy. He's a pro. So, yeah, so you never know what you're going to catch out in the ocean. You don't that's know. That's what's so exciting about ocean fishing. That's a great fish for the pier. Yeah. Right up here in the sand where they're trying to catch some halibut. All right. If you like what you're seeing, if you like George and you like Claire, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you have any questions about us, any of the fish here today, just ask me. I'll tell you about them. Right. George and Claire did a great job on that uh, sand shark shovel nose shark if you like what you saw hit the subscribe button hit that like button if you have any questions about any of the things you've seen today ask if you have a question about fishing just put it in in the comments I'll, I'll answer it